Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. We got exclusive news, man. I know, I know, I know. I, a lot of people tweeted out the joint yesterday about the uh, stack thing. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. I seen the Agent Zero video yesterday, and they was talking about the article. article was up. Boom, and then it was gone. But, uh... As we know on the internet, once it's seen, what seen cannot be unseen. What's been put out there can't be put out there, can't be unput out there. And I do this shit for a living. So uh, we were able to get the stack article in its entirety. Y'all already see it right here, man. This is a stack article, straight up. Uh, shout out to Agent Double Zero, though, man. You know, I saw his video. I was like, shit. I mean, uh, he didn't get the whole thing. Just had the screenshot. I was like, I'm pretty sure I can get the whole article. This is what I do for a living. But anyway, uh, so idea for this video, straight up from him. I'm not even going to bullshit you. But uh, check it out, man. Here we are. NBA 2K18, a new ballpark. And honestly, man, what he had in this video wasn't a whole lot different. I mean, you can see it right here. Um, I guess y'all want me to leave a link. Yeah, just let me know. I'll leave y'all a link to it. But uh, we're just going to go through it word for word. Uh, uh, Wooten Von Voot. Uh, whatever uh, 2k games head of international communications has everything he has everything he thinks we need to know here's everything he has it says he hears it and we, we, we're not gonna worry about all of that man check it out how much work has been in, has been put into improving player visuals for 2k18 do we really care about player visuals really really player visuals bruh Bruh, like my dog Jamal's world, y'all gonna take his channel a lot. Uh, he probably streaming Madden right now. Really, bro? Really, bro? Bro, we talking about visuals, bro? Come on, man. We already know that we all we are almost at the pinnacle of what they can do as far as the game goes, man. But we we gonna I'm gonna humor it, and uh, you know we're gonna talk about the other stuff in a second. Okay, uh, let me see. As with every iteration of NBA 2K, I, actually let me get my sexy wife to come over here and read this, man. You wanna read this? Sure. Come on over here and get in the video. All right. Right here. Okay. As with every iteration of NBA 2K, we take real very seriously. Not mm -hmm. only do we have the possibility for body skin first time this year, meaning that players look like their life counterpart even. Also work with Nike to skin outfits, making it 18 most real version of Reason. That's what I'm talking about, man. So it's gonna be the most realistic looking ever. But you know, I'm gonna tell you one thing: they can't mess with live art team. Y'all got a nice art team, but y'all ain't messing with live art team. Now, live's mocap team needs y'all, but y'all y'all not rocking with live. It, it, like the presentation of live is second to none, man. Like just everything that that doesn't have to do with basketball is great. So y'all not messing with them, but we're glad to see that we're that we wanted to be more realistic looking. Go on here to the next one. What kind of involvement does that mean for players as far as scanning as is? I don't know why we're worried about this, but wait a second. Oh my God. Okay, so nowadays, we have a mobile scanner and motion capture, meaning we can go around the different team and their players really quickly. Our main mocap studio is in South Carolina. About a year, we're scanning for in. So like they said, if you don't like how your jump shot looked, you can come on in and scan it in, baby. And if you can't be bothered to come down here, we can come to you. Or when we come scan the arena, then y'all can get scanned right there. So you know it is what it is. That's cool, though. That is actually pretty, pretty cool, cool, but that ain't what we worried oh, about, baby. Okay. All right, that ain't what we worried about. We're going we gonna to say that last part for last. Uh, I want you to talk about, uh, uh, the, 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 okay, do this one right here. I do ensure that the series remains accessible for new That's year. And introduce TK, 2KU and learn about the basis of this mode makes a welcome return in you'll also find that in you are a lot more experts around the move basketball tactics come on son y'all know how to play 2K by now if you don't 2KU is not gonna help you you're gonna get slapped up by everybody you probably still that 88 overall and still getting slapped paid them $20 on day one and then pay but it don't matter though because we got something for you too that can't be bothered to play my career. Got no dang on hot spots, no badges coming out there trying to hoop with your boy. Talking about Jay, pick me up. Jay, I want to run. Jay, can I get a run? Please. Okay. okay. We're going to go with this. So why was it important to revamp the body type system? It's all about realism. 
Having realistic body types doesn't just allow us to make this look more realistic, but react more real realistically. Well, I guess if they look more realistic, they can react more realistically, but you know it is what it is. But the bombshell that they dropped, dog, this is the bombshell that they dropped. There is a, they straight up jacked this from NBA Live, dog. Like, I don't know what they call the one where you can grow up, where you can level your guy up in all game modes. Um, you know, that's what they call it on NBA Live 18, the one. So you got one player and you you leveling them up in all game modes. I mean, it's a great idea. This year they got this thing called Road to 99. And the reason that I say that it's going to be called Road to 99 or something like that, some iteration, is because I see it in quotation marks twice. Normally when somebody when something is in quotations in quotes twice, it's a direct quote, and they want you to know that this is what it's going to be called. So you got this early, man. So, uh, hey, it is what it is. Check it out. Okay. Boom. Can you talk about what improvements have been made on the Mind Player and my career? We need a few more pages to explain all the new features for my player and my career. Okay. And we have some surprises of our sleep. One of the Bam. bigger changes is that what we call the Road to 99, which entails that you now upgrade your player and earn the game mode you play my player, including online modes, pro am, and my part. Now you could always, well, 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 I mean, we're going to let the beautiful breathe easy beat this last one and then we're going to let her do her I'm going to talk to y'all about it. Last one, right here, baby. What changes can we expect from multiplayer? Amongst other things, Road to 99 will change things up drastically, as players can now build their character up in every mode, including online. Now, they put that in there twice. Thank you. Out. Thanks for the beautiful breeze. Tell you that, man. I don't care. I, I, look, I, I, I ain't need y'all talking about it. There's too much ass in the background. Um, I didn't need y'all talking about my inability to read, so I brought somebody on here that can read. I do mad she read, baby. It's the perfect cup. Anyway, so check it out. Um, Road to 99 must be what they're going to call it, man. And, and instead of being the one, I guess they figured the NBA, maybe they were a little afraid of NBA Live this year, and they seen NBA Live the one, and they felt like they, they were going to have to do something to compete with it. Because that is, I mean, it is an antiquated system. While I do like the idea of building your player up, off, like, like you got to put in work somewhere else before you can come to the park. It's just like real life. You're not going to get better playing in the park. You're going to have to practice on your own time. While I do like that, for experienced players like myself, I don't like grinding up. Like, the reason that I don't make more players is because I don't feel like grinding them up in my career, just grinding and grinding and grinding. And this is a brilliant move by 2K because they know that people will make more characters and subsequently spend more VC to get the character to 88 and then build them up to 99 or what have you, uh, you they know that people will do that more because they can you can upgrade more characters without having to play my career and grind it out. I don't know how they're going to do badges, though. Maybe badges will be different because I, the last thing I really want to see is somebody coming out there trying to upgrade their, their uh, trying to get their um, take bad shots with people in your face badge. What's that? Oh, dead out. I don't, I don't need to see somebody trying to get mid-range dead eye out there in the park. So I don't know how live does it or how it really goes. I don't think, I don't know if you're going to really be able to gain badges in the park. Maybe you'll just be able to get your attributes uh, in the park and you'll still probably have to gr grind those badges up uh, offline or what have you. I, I really don't know. But um, I think for somebody like me, it's good because I'll go and get my, I will, I will go get my core badges. And then, like, like once you get your core badges, you want to be able to just play in the park and get your guy up to the 99 or what have you. Um, and then just all the extra badges, you can just get those on your own time. I really don't know how they're going to do that. Like I said, somebody will tell me how live does it in the comments. But we know that this road to 99 is something that they're actually going to be pushing. Uh, they said an all-new a new ballpark. I, I think they just called that. That's just the name of the article because it's not... Um, you know, it's not any new ballparks. It's not anything like that that we're aware of right now. But uh, this article, you know, it told a little bit more. I mean, it's pretty much what, what Asia had on this video. It had everything. But I just wanted to bring y'all the whole article just because I know that I knew I could get it. And if I could get it, then why not? Why not give y'all the whole article and share it with the masses? Why keep it for myself? Right? But I don't know, man. Like, I really don't know how I feel about that. Like, you... Obviously, you're not going to have 55 overalls or 88 overalls that just never, you know, uh, like somebody was saying, like on his video, he said that people were saying that come-ups are going to continue. I mean, come-ups are going to be good. Now, if you're a come-up, you're a come-up. I've seen 97 overall legs and four come-ups. I mean, come on, dog. If you're a come-up, you're a come-up. 
That's not. It doesn't have anything to do with your skill level. They probably gonna. I mean, if somebody's bad at the game, they're probably gonna put the points somewhere where they really don't. They really don't understand where they should put them anyway, man. So like, um, you know, this, this is one thing that we wanted to see, but at the same time, I'm just a little bit hesitant because I don't know how you earn your your hot spot. Well, I will still go earn my hot spots and my core badges offline, but I really think that this is probably going to going to go against everything that we think is going to be counterintuitive because you're probably going to have a bunch of 99s out there with no badges because they feel like they don't have to go to uh, my career. Maybe you can't earn the badges out there. Maybe you can. But I really hope that you can't earn the bad shot badge out there because I don't need people taking 140 bad shots in order to get that badge. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Like I said, this article is, is actually really telling because, like I said, you get to see that they got something called Roll to 99. You're probably going to be able to play, play. Um, well, you're going to be able to play when we don't have Rex and or whatever anymore. Or maybe we will. Maybe we will have the Drew League or whatever. But, but obviously, you'll be able to play Pro-Am. You'll be able to play My Career to get them up, obviously. And then you'll be able to play My Park uh, to get them up. And that's all most of us really care about, man. I'm a My Park YouTuber. I might play some of the other stuff a little bit later. But uh, it is what it is, man. We're going to see how this goes. Uh, Y'all guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think it's a good system? I mean, for obviously us veteran players, I think it's a good system. The people it, like me, Brutus Sim, a lot of the guys on YouTube, we don't need to have to play my career. And if I can gain my badges, I, I'm not. I'm obviously not going to continue to try to break somebody's ankle in the park to get ankle breaker. I'm going to go to my career to get those badges. But it's nice to know that when I break somebody's ankle in the park, then I can. It, then it'll count toward the badge or whatever. We need the badge counter. That's what we really need, but you know it is what it is, man. Um, is this better or worse for the game? I can see it being better. I can see it being worse depending on how they deploy it. But like I said, I don't know how live deploys it. I don't know how you really get your badges and all that, so it is what it is. Anyway, I'm about to get up out of here. Um, we'll check out the trailer another time, man. I really don't. I mean, I think y'all have seen this trailer uh, too much probably already, but this actual article is probably what you haven't seen yet. So, it is what it is, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope this clarified everything. And like I said, just piggybacking off of Asian video because I wanted more information and I felt like it was selfish for me to go get more information and not give it to you guys. And like I said, I'm back on the grind now, man. Like, it, it, it was rough, man. It's rough. It, I mean, the game got dry, got stale. I still stream about every day on Twitch, but, but that's about it, man. But we're going to get up out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this motherfucker.